What time is it? Mail. 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 Mail time. Hey guys, Andre from West Coast Chain Mail here. So I've had a couple of requests for a video to show how to do the SWR slider pendant with a point. So the normal configuration of an SWR slider pendant is like this, where everything is in line. You can see the stepped configuration all the way through. And when it hangs, it hangs in a nice gentle curve. But there's an alternate way that you can thread it, and that's with a point. So you can do it like this, whereas you can see the steps on each side of the center follow, but at the center it reverses. And so when you do that, you wind up with a point here. And you can wear it stretched a little bit, or you can wear it relaxed. Either way, it comes out really nice. Um, but it is a little bit counterintuitive, so I'm going to do a quick video on how to do that. So here I have a, a 12, oh, I'm sorry, a, um, a 20 to 14 gauge raw SWR slider pendant here, and I'm going to slide it onto this particular chain, which I've already attached to my eye pin. So to start, I am going to go start going through here, and just kind of just like Scott shows, weave it back and forth. So you can see I'm stacking these up as we want them. Um, let's see here. Try not to get lost as you go. You always have to do that sort of reality check of am I going through the right ones? See there, I went through the wrong way. So just want to make sure you're keeping things stacked up. So going through, stacking them up until we get to the largest pair of rings. So here you can see at the largest pair of rings, I'm all stacked up on both sides here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the second largest pair of rings. And instead of going through normally, I'm gonna rotate these up like that. So that the largest rings are hanging down, but these two rings are stacked up, okay? So, the largest rings are hanging down, these two are stacked up. All right, and now I'm going to continue weaving in my normal fashion here. So going back and forth between these two, weaving, zigzagging as we go through all the rings. I catch that last one. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of shake it out and make sure that it's all laying right. So if, if it's going correctly, you're going to see that you're all stacked up on one side, you're all stacked up on the other side. But in the middle, it gets a little bit funky because those rings are just hanging down. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to shake it down onto my chain. This can take a couple seconds to kind of get it through there. There we go. And now I can see that... I got it. So there it is. Nice and pointed. So hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, obviously uh, let me know, comment. I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. But until later, this is Andre Meyer at West Coast Chainmail wishing you happy mailing.